Hi, and welcome back. Today we'll be reviewing this brand new plugin for an acoustic and Luca Pretoletti. I hope I did it. I said it well, his name. So this is basically the new dynamic saturator. Okay, so let's dive in so so we will understand how this will work in the background. So we got all the sections here. We got the input trim. Uh, I will check right now this the high XOVER and low that is basically a crossover and a high and low cut filter so if I turn this on if the light is on that's mean that we are on and you can see how this works okay now if I go on the other side on the lows basically it's from 1k to 7k you have this so this might be useful if you want to make some parallel process where you only want to to add a saturation to the uh to this to the low to the high mids or heights it will work like a charm you have the linear phase here in case you want to work in linear phase and now if we work with the saturators we got two styles here the saturation one and two so let's see if the one get us a bit of eq changes and yes, it is changing. And if I push it all, we got that. So just for you to know, you got to be careful because these react are really, really uh, weird. Now, I'm not going to say weird because it's tough, but it works just like you see it. Okay. Now, if we go with the other saturation, we're only getting basically level here. And we're not getting any change in the EQ. So we can say that this is cleaner saturation than this one, even though this has an internal dynamic EQ. Now, if you have here the more the mids and the sides, so if you want to only apply in the mids, you can use this. If you want to only apply the sides, you can go all the way here. And if you want to stereo, it should be here. Now we got here the low shelf so you can see how it works we got the bypass section if you want to bypass it the output you got the the input the makeup and the expansion what they said that basic that is basically the, the expansion knob this knob controls the threshold and the sensitive sensitivity of the dynamic eq that this guy have internally so increasing the 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 expression the dynamic eq will increase uh on the on the signal process it helps that make sense okay now let's go to the harmonic distortion okay now here we got the span and we're going to push this guy to see what we get this is the first saturation and i already push everything right there let's try the second one we're not getting anything anything yet and okay that's a big boost right there so basically it will work after the six point here which shouldn't be that way i think but is the, so that i guess that we're going to get some volume when we do this another thing that i forgot to tell you you can resize this guy and you can oversampling it okay now let's try some tests on different sources and see how it works okay now here we are in the music test uh it's pretty rough this is the, only the production and i put an eq just to roll off a little bit of the lows and the instrumentation uh talking about piano guitars just to make a space for the bass and the kick drum and well first thing that i'm going to recommend you is uh to try to use the presets first to get your starting points uh and after that you play with it so basically this is the rough balance here uh, of these instruments and let's see here this part So that, that's basically the balance here. So I will play a bit first with the drum and then with the other instrumentation will be quickly. Okay, this is the drum kit. 
just to get a bit of character here. Before. I feel how it comes a little bit more together and I feel like a little bit thicker the kick and more punchy but that's just my opinion playing with this guy. I really play with this one because I can get a lot of volume here. Yeah. But listen to the kick. And the snare. It's really do something to that. So the second thing I would try is the bass. Uh, I use the preset, but I really dive in here with the one that gets the EQ, uh, that makes something on the EQ, because I don't like the bass so in so all over the place. So. For me that's more control and if I put it together with the drum before for me that is more focused so basically I use the bass preset and after that I play with my own ears and style to do that after i put a, a little bit in the acoustics and guitars overall but in this case just to give a little bit or more of whiteness i only process the sides as you can see here and i play a bit with the expressions so it definitely opened without annoying my ears with the uh, the style of this of distortion that it offers. Okay, now if I move to the things all related to keys, pianos, organs, pads, etc. So basically I try to I try to bring this to life. I cut some lows and add some distortion only. Okay, let's see how it sounds without and after I will turn this on. For me that sounds way better and we're talking about only using diamond i have an eq or touch the mix so it's a good starting point okay now let's check the full context of the of the rough mix uh, first before and then i'm going to turn this on so i'm going to the stress part and let's see what's happening It gets more consistency overall. If you were able to check here the view meters, uh, you we don't not we did not get any gain or any volume more. Even it's more it controls more all the dynamics. 
with the distortion because distortion is compression at its maximum level so we, we reduce some of the peaks and we give more consistency with that and controlling a bit the dynamics but with the distortion sorry if you hear some some switch or something like that but these guys really really take a big amount of cpu just for you to know so um well let me know in the comments what do you think about this new guy this new plugin i really like it but i would usually use it maybe for tracking and then making some stamps is needed or in a master session of uh, a mastering session but as i as you can see i'm <laughs> not, not really sure for using it in a mixed context at least not in multiple instances okay guys see you later and have a good day ciao